What is going on guys? In this video tutorial I would like to go over a special type of uh, amplifier. It's called the negative capacitance amplifier. So sometimes you have a, a signal source, a voltage source. This could be AC and it's called as VS and it has a finite output resistance RS and in, in uh, most biomedical uh, application you have some kind of output parasitic capacitance and this uh, RS co in combination with the parasitic uh, capacitance forms a low pass filter if there's a significant output resistance which is uh, common in, in cases of, uh, of micro pipettes and such the output resistance could be quite high so you have a corner frequency for a low pass that is uh, significant in, in many applications so this is the low pass this is lo the low pass action caused by these two R R RC combinations so here so how how are you to fix this well one one of the ways you can fix this is using a negative uh, capacitance amplifier. It uses a positive feedback loop. By using a capacitor here. Not only that, you can it uses uh, it has a non-inverting. Amplifi amplification style gain here set by two resistor R1 and R2 okay and let's call this C feedback so how you uh, derive an equation that, that that can relate the value uh, you, uh, F C, C feedback CF to that CP so that you can cancel out this current here called IP. So the the the, 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 the idea here is to that we want to supply a, a counterbalance current IF such that IF is equal to IP. So once we've satisfied this uh, condition, then we can cancel out this low pass effect. So let's let's begin analyzing. Uh, this using uh, the, the uh, KCL. Well, well, we'll start by converting the, the current in terms of voltage here. So let me write a reference voltage here called Vx. Vx on two uh, the uh, positive and the negative terminals. So IP becomes Vx divided by this resistance which is 1 over J omega CP and then set this equal to IF which is V out V out minus VX over 1 over J omega CF and this reduces to this cancel out this on both sides and you can reduce this to 1 over CF I mean VX over CF so equal to V out minus VX over CP here and I can reduce this let's write this here here so this becomes CP over CF so equal to V out minus VX over VX and this equals to V out over Vx minus 1 Cp Cf. So what is this right here? Well, this is a, uh, if you notice, this is non inverter. So V out is equal to V in, which is Vx here in our, in our case, 1 plus R1 over R2. That's the gain for a non inverter. Okay, but we can just say V out over Vx equals to the gain. So CP over CF is equal to the gain minus 1, right? So now so now we can uh, find 
given uh, CP, we can find the appropriate CF so that we can uh, adjust the, the current the compensa uh, comp compensation here so that that will offset the IP. Or in in more practical term, you just set a, a value CF in the middle range and then you can adjust the gain later on so that you can measure uh, the V outs the V out. I think that's more practical. Okay, and and that and this is how you uh, would approach this problem when you have a substantial uh, large uh, output resistance and there is uh, some parasitic capacitance at the uh, output of the source. All right, this will conclude this uh, video. Thanks, thanks for watching. Please uh, leave in the comment below in the comment section. All right, thanks for watching.